first stop this week, we went to Aldi and spent $65.21. Not a lot of things that I particularly needed from Aldi. Need to go to Walmart and Sam's Club, so that should be next. But I did take advantage of the fruit because their fruit has come down significantly and here for it. So I got three packages of blackberries. Those are for Trey. The boys are home until the 8th. So we're flying through the fruit even more, I feel, than when they're in school because we're just eating it for like all the different meals. So those were cheap. Got those. And then I have been loving the raspberries and I bought some last week. So I got two more of them. And then the blueberries, y'all, are finally still not cheap but gosh they have come down in price and i am so happy and i should have gotten two but i just got one but happy to report that they are starting to come down the grapes were on sale i think for a dollar 99 a pound the red ones so i went ahead and got a bag of those for the boys to munch on this week and then two bananas and that looks pitiful but i am just needing a couple for a couple of workouts before we work out full on next week and i'll pick up some more in my big walmart order Three blocks of cream cheese. I got the third less fat for, I think I'm doing my cracked chicken in the slow cooker. I have that recipe here on my YouTube channel. I will link it down below for y'all, but we're gonna be doing that for tacos, I think, or burritos. And we can also do that with sandwiches. So I need to look at getting some buns maybe for the weekend. And then two blocks of regular for the day before New Year's Eve, we're supposed to be going to my aunt's and they're doing some type of like Asian theme and I might be doing some type of appetizer. So I got that just in case. Some almond milk and the vanilla for my protein coffee, but also for my Ninja Creamy. I've been doing the Ninja Creamy with like half almond milk and half Fair Life or skim milk and loving the consistency of it. So I'm gonna continue with that. I got some skim milk, speaking of, for the Creamy or for the boys for cereal this week. And then I have been loving since this week when I'm filming, when you guys are seeing this, I'm back on tracking mode, but I have been loving just some Greek yogurt with some berries and some granola with whatever on the side and I'm almost out and I love this one from Aldi. It's 90 calories and 14 grams of protein. Got some lemonade mix for the boys. We have the fruit punch. I think we're, we have two of them, but just to switch up the flavor profile, got the lemonade one. And then I think I'm making some sweet and sour meatballs from Elise Ellis next week. I've never made them before, but they looked good and she calls for some pineapple chunks and 100% juice and they were cheaper there than Walmart. And then y'all know we've been loving the spinach and artichoke dip from Walmart. And for New Year's Eve, I'm doing exactly like I did for Christmas Eve and just doing appetizers here at the house. It was a hit, easy, and why not? So we're gonna try this one with mozzarella, parmesan, and asiago cheese. I think the one from Walmart is the same, but I, I think we can heat this one up too. But it was like $3 cheaper than the Walmart one, but y'all know we love that one. So I'll let you guys know how it compares. And then they have all their New Year's Eve like workout stuff. If you watched my vlog from two days ago, Go and check it out because I brought you guys in store Aldi for all the like new year, new me stuff. And they had a lot of health things as out as well. So I got the Alani New Juicy Peach. This is one of my favorite flavors from the energy drinks from Alani New. And they were much cheaper than Target is the other cheapest place I can find them. So I picked up two just to have because we love it so much. And then I got some turkey pepperoni. I'm going to be doing this with the pretzel thins and the cottage cheese little bowl I like to do for a lunch option. And the boys like it too. And then y'all know what this is for, for the chili cheese dip, since we're going to be doing that for appetizers for New Year's Eve. And then I'm going to freeze the other half for a future movie night or a recipe. To go alongside the sweet and sour meatballs, we're going to be doing some egg rolls. And the ones from Walmart in the frozen section are pretty good, but these caught my eye. They were in the section with the pizzas, like the deli pizzas. These are the pork ones. Were a little bit better macros, 120 calories, and I think six grams of protein, three grams of fat, made with pork, freshly cut cabbage, carrot, and onion. I like to put these in the air fryer, but that will be a good side. And any that we don't use, we could probably freeze up. And then I got some snacky stuff for New Year's Eve. Y'all know we're obsessed with these pita crackers and the garlic and chive. Had to get those again. And then they had these, oh, how big are these? Eight ounces. They had them in a, I can't remember the other flavor, maybe rosemary and something. But I just went ahead and got this original wheat one, but they were like a dollar something for these crackers. And three crackers, 60 calories. And they didn't have any more cheese balls. I wanted to get one more of their cheese balls, but they were completely out. So I'm gonna pick one up from Walmart if they have them in stock. 
And then y'all know last week I could not get the Clancy's baked barbecue chips. They were totally out. So I had to spend a million dollar on the Lay's, but I got them today. They had a few on the shelf and I still have one of the Lay's left over from Christmas, but why not stock up? Cause y'all know we're always doing the fun things at home. So that is everything we got at Aldi this week, Sam's Club, Walmart pickup. Next up we did Sam's drive up, Target drive up, in Walmart pickup. Walmart was about $90. I know that sounds like a lot for what is here, but I also have a Premier Protein Shake being shipped to the house, the new cookie dough flavor. I saw Tanya over on TikTok and Instagram talk about it. She said it's fire, so we're gonna see, and I wanted to use it for some Ninja Creamy recipes. So I got some shredded iceberg lettuce for our Taco Tuesday for next week. I got a green bell pepper for a recipe and a red one for Trey to snack on. He loves the red and the orange I've mentioned. I got some bananas because we are back to full on workout. So this is for pre-workout and for Waylon. For our Taco Tuesday night, I'm gonna be making my cracked chicken. I have that here on my YouTube channel and you can make that on buns, you can put it on tacos. We love it on tacos, but I'm gonna make like some big burritos with it and y'all look at the macros on these burrito sides by old el paso for one tortilla it's 130 calories that is crazy when you compare to like mission and some of the other ones so i don't know if that's accurate but i'm rolling with it that's what i'm tracking and they are pretty good size you guys can see and pretty cheap as well so i'll let you know how they taste some fairy life milk for the boys because now that they are home 24 7 they go through it even more probably should have got two some Quaker chocolate rice cakes, that's for my pre-workout. I have enough, I think, to get me by, but just in case. I think I need some before my next pickup is what I'm saying. I didn't have very many substitutions. This was one, I wanted to get the big pack of the Velveeta slices. Y'all know we love our plastic cheese over here. So I got the 16 slice, we're completely out. And I've been making those grilled cheese dogs. If you watched that vlog, I think I posted two days ago, I showed you guys how to make it and the boys are obsessed with them. Got some of the French onion dip for New Year's Eve. We're doing the exact same thing we did for Christmas Eve and just having appetizers, what's in the freezer, snacky snacks. And this is our favorite dip and it is so cheap. Love it so much. If you haven't tried it, tried it. Sour cream, I'm gonna be making, I think I've decided, we are leaving actually here in the next 30 minutes to go to that party I was telling you about where it's like Asian themed and I know, I know, okay? But I'm gonna be making some crab rangoon dip and that is for that, I think. Also for that dip, I wanted to get the block cheese but they were out so they sub for the shredded mozzarella, that is fine. Black Forest ham, I have been loving this for a breakfast option, but Waylon loves this on sandwiches. So since he's gonna be home, had to get another one and so glad that that's finally come down in price. Still not what it should be, but better than what it was. For the crab rangoon dip, I do have some of these wonton wrappers in the freezer, so I thawed them out, but I saw a lot of people, instead of frying them for a like dip agent for the dip, I'm gonna be putting them in the air fryer and we'll see how it works because I don't really want to make a hot mess and fry them beforehand and all that jazz. I did get uh, a six count of the Nibbler green corn for the side of a dinner this week, because we don't have any, and they are 50 calories a slice if you are in a calorie deficit. They are really good. And then we are running low on like all the bacon, sausage, all the breakfast side protein items, and the boys flew through. They all love these turkey sausage patties. So I wanted to have another one in the freezer. I wanted to make one with a sandwich the other day, and we were out, and I was like, dang guys, 90 calories and eight grams of protein for a patty. They went down in price, and now they're back up in price again. Like, come on, Walmart. Got some Pop-Tarts, you guys know, pre-workout. Gotta have that Pop-Tart life. And I've never tried the Frosted Raspberry. Have y'all tried the Frosted Raspberry before? That just sounded fire. I'm a big raspberry lover. I know a lot of people don't like raspberry, but I love all things raspberry. It is so, so good. So I was like, well, let's try that. And the 16 count is much cheaper than anything else. I'm just saying. Still can't find the Eggos. Still can't find the Eggo ones. I know. The Apple Jacks are my all-time favorite though. Number one. If you see it, grab it. If you like apple and cinnamon flavor, then you're going to love it. Tastes like a apple strudel almost. Oh my gosh, it's so good for a pre-workout. I just do one with my rice cake combo if you're new. Got a big thing of the maraschino cherries. Again, the one pounder for New Year's Eve for us to make Shirley Temples. It is our jam. We're not big drinkers around here. So I go back to my childhood and that's what I do. So that's what that's for. We have some cherries, but we added juice for sure from a Christmas Eve. The white crab meat by Bumblebee, that is for the dip I'm gonna be making. Also, if you're in a calorie deficit, this is a good protein source, 80 calories 
and 16 whopping grams of protein. You know, this would be good. I was thinking about if you took this, drained it, and then put some laughing cow wedges with it, that would be super low calorie and super high protein. Put dip it, whatever. I just thought that that might sound good. I don't know. I've never really used the canned crab meat before. Hormel chili, turkey with beans. We've all decided, y'all are with me, it's gotta have beans. We can't even tell the difference between this turkey one and a regular chili, but that is for the Velveeta dip for <laughs> New Year's Eve. And then for my Ninja Creamy, I have a little bit left on hand, but not much. And I've been really digging all the different vanilla flavors versus a chocolate, which is kind of unlike me, but I got the family size of the vanilla pudding and the zero sugar to add to the Ninja Creamies. I do have the birthday cake win, or the cake batter win on my Instagram. So go and check it out if you're looking for a new base. If you got one for Christmas, and a lot of you guys said you were getting one and you wanted some recipes, so they will be coming. I'm testing out a banana pudding win tonight, I think. The knockoff to the chicken and the biscuits, they are good, they are fire, y'all. So don't buy the chicken and the biscuits. They are like double the price. Get these chicken bites, I'm telling you, so, so good. For our Shirley Temples, these were cheaper than getting Sprite Zero in the two liter, the seven up zero sugar, and we like it anyway. So I said, why not save? It's like half the price, so why not? And then they had a Walmart cash back offer. If you bought two of the party size Fritos and the scoops, you got $3 back, which made these, made like one bag a dollar and something. So it was a no brainer for me to do that versus just buying one. And I got the $3 back. So this was $90 with the shake, but I got $3 back. So not terrible, okay? Especially when they had a little incentive. We'll jump into Target back here. So the drinks were, if you bought three, you got 40% off, which was awesome. It ended up being like 13 bucks for these three. And the 15 can uh, packs by Pepsi were the same price as the 12 packs in the Cokes. So you get a few extra cans for the same price. It's a no-brainer. We like the Pepsi Zero. I wish they had the Pepsi Zero Cherry in this size, but they don't. And I can't ever get it in the pickup. They make you go in store, and I was not going in store. It was so crowded when we did our pickup today. So I got 15 of the Pepsi Zero Sugar, just the plain. I got the Sunkiss Orange. They had it. Y'all know it's been really hard for me to find this lately, and this is the Hub's favorite. I like it too, especially when we don't have it that often. It's a nice treat. And the Zero Sugar Orange. And then I got the Zero Sugar Cherry Coke is another one of our favorites. So not bad for drinks. Had to stock up. Everybody's home, and y'all know we go through them anyway. And then Sam's Club, holy smokes, like, I don't know the total price, but I'm popping up prices for you guys. Trey finally ran out of his pimento cheese. We haven't hauled this in a while, and y'all know he absolutely loves this for homemade Lunchables. He also likes this just melted on top of broccoli for a dinner option, so I like to have it on hand. And we are out, so got that for him. I'm so glad Sam still carries this, because y'all, they were wishy-washy with having it and not having it. And then I told you guys I should have got more blueberries at Aldi, but they weren't terribly priced at Sam's, so I went ahead and got the 18 ounce, and they look nice, so I'm happy to see that. And then I cannot believe that I was out of bread. Like, I wanted to make my protein French toast this morning, and we didn't have enough bread. I always have backups in the freezer, you guys know, but again, everybody's home for a longer period of time, and I'm definitely thrown off my game. So I got two of the Nature's Own Hawaiian bread Love it so much, 70 calories a slice, regular old bread. And then y'all know we like to get these Greek pita flatbreads for the boys to make homemade pizza Lunchables. So what we do is I just slice these in force and then we put like the cheese, the sauce, and the pepperonis and they assemble their own little homemade Lunchables. It's definitely cheaper to do it that way, guys. So that's just a little money saving hack instead of buying the Lunchables if your kiddos will go for it. My kids like it. I know I feel like I just hauled this Carmichael's honey, but I use it for my pre-workout and my rice cakes and I don't have enough to make the sweet and sour meatballs I think I need some for and for pre-workout. So I got another one of them. The Louisiana local honey. Try to get local if you can. It's just better and probably tastes better too and probably cheaper. Got some party stuff, but before we get to it, and y'all know I like to get the 93% lean ground beef. It's the cheapest by me at $4.78 a pound. And I know I've watched other people's grocery hauls and they're honoring that price pretty much in other states I've seen. So check and compare. But this is for the meatball recipe and I will probably, I think I need two pounds and I'll freeze the other one for another recipe. Love getting it there. And then I could not, I cannot believe how big this is for what I paid for it. I think this was like less than $7 for a two pound, eight ounce. Like I didn't realize how big this was or I probably wouldn't got it, but it's great for the price. It's a big party tray that's got pepperoni, salami, cheddar cubes, Colby Jack cubes, and crackers. Humongous. I got that for New Year's Eve. That's crazy for what I paid for it. So I don't know if they have this all the time, but check that out if you got a party going on. 
And then for that Asian get together we're going to, I took an easy route and I got a bunch of the sushi. Now, what was cool about it is that they won't let you do a pickup until they start making the sushi fresh in club. So I had to do a later pickup because of that, which was fine though, because I like how they are making it fresh for you. And it looks freaking delicious. Y'all let me know if you've tried it. I cannot wait to try it. I'm a fan of sushi, but the boys are not, so that's why you don't see me eat it often. But I got this big party platter. It's got a little bit of everything in there, and it looks great. Like I said, it was cheaper to do that. This one was $25.18, and I think it said it had like 61 pieces in there. I also got this little assorted one because this one didn't have some of these flavors in it, and this one was $15.73, so better deal to get the big one. If y'all like sushi or just want to have like a sushi night and uh, this is a pretty cheap way to go for the quantity is what I'm saying. Then I got the Chobani non-fat Greek yogurt with the fruit on the bottom. You get the strawberry, blueberry, peach, and black cherry. A lot of their like healthier options, yogurts, Greek yogurts are on instant savings for the new year. This was one of them. So I got that for Trey. And then I also got the boys another of the Go-Gurts. These were on a killer deal and I got them on a killer deal last time. So happy that they're still cheap. And being that they're home, I can't believe we're almost out. I just bought this, I feel. You get 32 of the strawberry and the berry in there. And then look at this guys, before I drop this, not this, but this is new. They just started carrying their own brand of fully cooked premium thick cut double smoked bacon. Like everything from Members Mark, I feel like they have to word vomit on you like to, to sell you the Sam's Club. We don't need you to do that. Just give us what we want. We don't need the word vomit. But you get 36 slices in here. They look pretty good size is what I'm seeing. And the macros for two slices is 80 calories and five grams of protein. Minimal ingredients. Love to see it and love the price for the same amount versus the name brand. So if you see this guys, this is a good deal versus the name brand is what I'm saying. And I need that for the cracked chicken recipe. So that's why I got it. And I love to have that as an easy option for like breakfast sandwiches for myself or even the boys if I don't have any bacon on hand. It's just a good go-to. And then speaking of them, I did get this big bag of the Simply Cheeto Puffs just because we, we have a lot of sweet options on hand, but not a lot of savory. We're almost out of like our Cheez-Its and stuff. So this is a side for lunches. They love these. And if I can get these without the dyes, oh no, I can't. Not only that, they love the way these taste versus regular. So that is a win-win. So that's what we got at Sam's Club. Goodness gracious. Target pickup and Walmart this week for our first big haul of 2024.